All right, now I'm going to show you how to solve equations with variables on both sides. So here's what we do. First thing, we want to draw a line. What we do on one side, we do on the other side. Then we look to see if there's any like terms that we can combine. Well, I have a variable term and a variable term here. I can combine those, and I'll get 6x. I bring down the positive 3 and the equal sign. I'm working from left to right. I bring down the 15 minus 3x. Once I get here and there's no further simplification needed to solve it, I then look at my coefficients. And my coefficients are 6 and negative 3. Which one's smaller? Negative 3. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the term with the smaller coefficient to the other side of the equation. That way all my variable terms are on one side. So the opposite of a negative 3x, positive 3x. I do that to both sides, work from left to right. 9x plus 3 is equal to 15. Those cancel. Now that I'm here, i got a two-step equation. We must isolate the variable term by getting rid of this constant. The inverse of positive 3 is negative 3, so I subtract 3 from both sides. Once again, working from left to right, bring down the 9x, cancels, equals 12. Now that I'm here, I divide both sides by my coefficient. I get x is equal to 12 over 9. I can simplify this fraction. The greatest common factor is 3, so this will simplify down to 4 thirds. So x equals 4 thirds. It's just that simple. Combine like terms, move the variable term with the smaller coefficient, solve from there. Let's try two more examples. All right, so if I look at this one, there's no terms to combine here, but I should realize that this is not just x, it's 1x. Now that I'm at this point, I look at my coefficients, 1 and negative 5. Which one's smaller? Negative 5. So I'm going to move this term over here so that all my variables are together. I add 5x to both sides, and I'll get 6x minus 21 is equal to negative 11. Now that I'm here, I want to isolate this variable term on one side of the equation, so I must get rid of this constant. To do that, I add 21 to both sides. I bring down the 6x, that cancels, that's going to equal 10. Now I need to divide out this coefficient. That's multiplication, the opposite's division. I divide both sides by my coefficient, which is 6. Those will cancel. I get x is equal to 10 over 6. Can I simplify that? Yes, I can. The greatest common factor is 2. So I'm going to divide the numerator and denominator by 2, and this simplifies down to 5 thirds. So x equals 5 thirds. One last problem to solve. I draw the line, and I start looking for like terms that I can combine. If I look on this side, I have two constants. I can combine those. 3 and negative 9 becomes negative 6. So I'll bring down the negative 6x. These combine to form negative 6, and the left side is simplified. On the right side, I have two variable terms that I can combine. 2x and a negative 5x combine to form negative 3x. I bring down the negative 12, and now I can go and try to solve this equation. I look at my coefficients, a negative 6 and a negative 3. Which one's smaller? Negative 6. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add 6x to both sides. That will cancel out these 6x's. I bring this down, it gives me negative 6. Negative 3x plus 6x gives me 3x minus 12. Guess what? Two-step equation time. Variable term must be isolated, so we get rid of that constant. Plus 12, plus 12. Negative 6 plus 12 gives me 6. Equals, I bring down the 3x. Those cancel. All right, all right. I divide both sides by 3, and I get 2 is equal to x. Have you check it? Take this, substitute it back into the original equation, you should get a true statement. I want to thank you for watching. That's how we solve equations with the variables on both sides. And that's another reason that math matters everywhere.